Many precision control arms and chassis components incorporate a greasable or serviceable function. This function can be identified by a grease or zerk fitting. Precision grease fittings are of standard SAE compliant sizing for ease of install and to ensure wide compatibility with grease guns. Regular relubrication promotes extended part service life and continued trouble free operation. It also flushes out contaminants and other debris, minimizing wear and corrosion on internal part components when compared to a sealed part. Here are some tips when relubing a precision part. Only use a grease formulation that conforms to the NLGI GCLB or number 2 specification. Relubricating components every vehicle oil change is the suggested interval and professional technicians can simultaneously perform a vehicle inspection. Use only a manually operated grease gun to perform relubrication service. Electric and pneumatic grease guns are typically designed to deliver a high volume and sustained output, which may quickly overfill the part, leading to dust boot and or seal damage. Before beginning relubrication service, dispense a small amount of grease from the gun to verify both correct operation of the tool and contaminant-free grease. Always use the correct coupler between the grease gun and part. Locate the grease fitting on the part and remove any contaminants and or debris before beginning service. Slowly pump new grease into the part. Typically, this will mean one or two pumps. Precision parts feature a grease relief valve integrated into the dust boot. Do not overfill. Once relubrication service is complete, clean off old grease and contaminants from the boot, grease fitting, and surrounding components.